Federal criminal charges may be coming in another New Mexico case. This one involves a huge illegal dump where a school district has been burying all kinds of dangerous trash for years. News 13's Kim Holland is on special assignment with the latest on a spreading scandal. Considering the, the magnitude of it, yeah, it's significant. It was a massive find, a school district hiding literally tons of waste, some of it toxic, dangerous, and potentially deadly. Just shock. The materials in question sat just below this surface on four and a half acres of land. This area that you see here that's got fresh gravel on it was the excavated area. Benny Kling, who started the excavation over here, now retired, was an enforcement officer for the New Mexico Environment Department. He found the dump. I couldn't understand a school district uh, allowing that to continue. I mean, years and years ago, 40 years ago, it was different. But to have that continue on and the, the quantities were just amazing. In 2012, the state dug up the items in Gallup from a pit 35 feet deep. Investigators found large underground fuel storage tanks. One was leaking fuel oil. The vapor shut down the excavation until they were at a non-explosive level. There were school chairs and desks, compressed gas cylinders, leaking Freon containers. This large stainless steel ball with an unknown yellow powder substance inside that brought out the hazmat team. The haul continued. Asbestos, car batteries, industrial kitchen equipment, an unknown white powder, and the list of chemicals and containers goes on. And then there's the students' records from 1966 and 1982. The Environment Department says the dumping has been going on for nearly three decades. The illegal dump was hidden behind the Gallup McKinley County Schools maintenance and operations facility, just feet from where students attend school. I see it as a witch hunt, I hate to say it. Superintendent Frank Cipetti questions how dangerous the dump really is. He says he's never seen an EPA report or remediation plan. I can't really see it being tremendously dangerous stuff. Um, if, if the state of New Mexico found something that dangerous, it seems like we would be taking the steps already for the safety of those students. Chepetti has only been in charge of the Gallup McKinley County School District for just under a year. But he says even though he's been a district employee for 21 years and lived in eyesight of the land, he never saw or knew anything about illegal dumping. We have so many super fun sites in this area that haven't been cleaned up in the first place. I'm wondering why the EPA is targeting something as this when they have so many more jobs that they haven't even taken care of. Plenty of people knew about the illegal landfill. Employees who buried the materials tipped off Kling and helped the Environment Department with the investigation. The cleanup cost to the district? A quarter of a million dollars and 30,000 more to produce thousands of documents to the state. But it's not over. Phase two of the dump still needs to be cleaned up. That's another 10 acres. And it extends beyond the fence and all along the Aurora where there's school desks, chairs, uh, old file cabinets, gas lines, uh, pieces of gas tubing. The state is monitoring the cleanup. It says it has no complaints of kids getting sick and regular testing of Gallup's water supply have come back normal. But the Environment Department handed this case off to the feds for possible criminal charges. We don't know who may be held responsible since so many people may be involved and so many people have come and gone from the district. No agency would confirm an investigation or comment on the case. It's significant. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. After the state environment enforcement officer showed us the Gallup School's illegal dump, he took us to a spot along I-40 where he says a contractor tore down an old junior high school and buried all the debris. 